Hey everybody, so this is going to be part two of the solar array. I've got to talk loud. The wind is brutal today. It's cold. I'm looking up the wind turbines running. What I'm going to do is run a wire from the solar array to the cabin. I'm going to show you a couple tricks and show you how I've done the array. This should be a fairly short video. It's just a follow-up. So if you're ever wondering how an electrician gets Romex run nice and smooth and doesn't have all the curly cues, you need a wiring tree. I get the wire. See how it comes off smooth? Watch me walk. Alright, so let's show you this real quick. See these brackets? These are Renology brackets everybody has them now. Just goes into this Unistrut. Here's the combiner box. I've got Unistrut again. Open this up. This is just a marine disconnect switch, see? Then I've got it fused. That's cool. I got it labeled going to the cabin. This wire will go here. I've got all the panels labeled. See where I got a three? Well, I got a panel three. I use automotive fuses and I use grounding bar blocks. There's a black, down here's a ground, and then you can see I got red tape here to show the positive. That way I don't screw it up. So all I gotta do is run this in here. And then here's the trick. This is all temporary. That way you don't waste any wire. Then twist it. Easy to take it off. I'll be running conduit on this, but for now, I just don't want to waste any wire. Everything's expensive right now. So I'll put a loop in this and then I'll eventually bury this. There's a lot of construction going to be going on here this spring. I want to leave this wire laying on the ground so I know where it's at. If I see it, I won't dig it up. So uh, on to the next step. So what I'm doing next, I'm running, this is UF cable coming up, going down. And it's going on underneath the cabin. So just dress it up. 90 degrees. And use your staple. And that's it. So now the suck. I'm trying to do this before early spring gets here because of snakes. I feel like I'm in a rush job. So the thing to do, take everything out of your pockets because you're going to leave them underneath there and you can't start your truck. So, here it goes. Thank you. One hour later. So, I'm pre-drilling a hole. And the screws I'm starting to fall in love with, they're expensive, but they're roofing screws. They got a gasket on it, so water for this. This is what we call in the trade a Minerlac strap. It's got an offset on it that brings it off the, the pipe. So it helped me get the wire in here. I'm just using this for a sleeve. I'm not using it for conduit. Semi-code, that should be in conduit all the way up, but I can also say that it's just for protection only from weed eaters and stuff like that. So just get the drill. 
And these things will spin on you and cut you, so get your hand away from it. There you go. So there's one. See how I twisted it a little bit? It needs to tighten it one more time. Now it's tight. Also spread them out. Twist it again. And now this is the magic. Eventually I'll have landscaping around here so I want protection for from a weed eater. See how that gave me the offset behind that wire? And there you go, just put the screws on it. So I used UF cable, not NM cable. NM cable is Romex. It'll last five years outside and then it'll short out and burn your place down. UF is graded for 30 to 50 years, UV rated, direct burial rated. It's not stranded, solar less stranded wire, but oh well, this is hard to beat, but right now it is super expensive. It should have been $30 for this row, it was $70. I'm not gonna talk politics, but it used to be cheaper. So on to the next. Up, but I want to show you a couple tricks. Remember me putting the tape around the conduit? Well, this is how much wire I got left. No waste. I've got a loop here. That way I'll undo the loop when I bury it. But no waste. So I'm going to go through this combiner box. This is a marine disconnect switch. I've RTV'd it. I drilled the back side of it out. There's the, the bolts to connect. I'm putting an automotive fuse in. This is a feed. This means this is protected to this bar. Each panel is now fuse protected. Then I've got cables going to each panel right here. I'll, I'll hook these up, then I'll put the fuse in. I'll have another switch in the cabin just like this. Here, I'm gonna grab the camera. You can see where I've got it labeled panel one. There's panel two, panel three. This one here is for a fan that we have in the window. These are the cutting edge brackets. I've got these sealed off for dirt daubers. There's the straps that come with the kit. And then there's the array. So I've got room for future expansion. I've got a lot of panels on the roof but I'm wanting some in the yard now. That way when snow comes. So there'll be a building here and this array here that's empty right now will feed that building there. And then I'll have another divider or a combiner box here labeled to that building. That way you're not confused with that combiner box there. So this is gonna wrap the video up. And uh, just to let you know, uh, there will be less videos coming out. Uh, I'm just gonna probably be putting out a video once a month. The views are too low. Uh, the last video got 100 views. So I'm just gonna go with quality, not quantity. And uh, you'll see probably once a month, that'd be, that'd be 12 videos a year, that's enough. Some of the videos will be update videos, just showing you how the, everything worked out and if it's working. That way you can follow up with a video that I already have out and see if, see if, it's, if it works. And, if you want to do it long term, if it didn't work, then you're not going to waste your money. 
I will be showing the building projects, but they're going to be pretty long videos. Uh, the short videos will be ending, and I'll have longer combined up videos. It's just easier for me to edit. I can upload at night, and it's a lot easier just using a hotspot for internet. So I appreciate you watching. Take care. God bless. Thank you.